Welcome back to Come College Online Ministry and Encouragement. I'm Reverend Jewel Williams here with our April 18th Wednesday message. And our theme for the year is a changed mind is a changed life. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will found in Romans 12 and 2. Again, go to the website, Williams Innovative Network. Dot .webly.com and you'll see it on your screen and join us. I, I really want to hear from you in terms of what you think about some of these topics and how are they helping you? Have you seen how these topics are helping you? So please come because you never know that will encourage someone else. So we'll continue in our study about the Jesus mindset. So we've already looked at Jesus and the multitude We've looked at Jesus and the religious people. Now we're going to turn it to Jesus and his disciples. And we're reading from Matthew, the 16th chapter, the 23, 23rd through the 27th verse. Now I actually taught this from this particular piece of scripture maybe a year or so ago, but it's a totally different theme. And so you might even kind of, some of this may sound familiar, but you know, God's word is never never gets old and we can never exhaust what we're teaching. And so today we're talking about Jesus' mindset towards his disciples. And it reads starting at verse 20, actually I said 23, but it's verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? For the Son of Man is is going to come in his Father's glory with his angel, and then he will reward each person according to what they have done. So, what do we want to glean from this piece of scripture? So we see Jesus here. He's he's having a conversation with his disciples. And so, you know, I love how is if you constantly read through the scripture, Jesus was always preparing his disciples. You know, he was teaching them, but he was also preparing them for when he would be gone. And he was always preparing them for what was to come. They didn't always get it, just like today we don't always get it. But they didn't always get the understanding of what Jesus was um, doing. And so let's look at this mindset of Jesus towards his disciples. Well, the first point I want to bring out is Jesus, as I was stating before, Jesus took time teaching his disciples. And so we see here one of these teaching times that Jesus is explaining to them that whoever wants to be his disciple has denied themselves take up their cross and follow me. Now you have to imagine them hearing this from Jesus really probably really didn't make much sense. Jesus hasn't been crucified yet. And so um, they probably, probably really don't get what it is he's telling themselves that, you know, why do I have to pick up a cross, you know, to follow you? What is this, this kind of radical thinking? But yet Jesus was still taking the time, lovingly teaching his disciples of what this meant. And they didn't get it right now, but at some point they were going to understand it. That really then speaks to us when we talk about having the Jesus mindset. And that means is we're going to have to take the time to disciple someone. We don't have disciples, but we want to make disciples for Christ. So we're going to need to take the time to teach somebody the things about Jesus Christ. And that means walking with him. We're going to take the time to walk with somebody. And we're going to have to tell them some things that probably really they don't get. Just like Jesus told his disciples about picking up this cross. They probably really won't get it at first. But we have to take the time to do it. And so that leads to my second point, which is Jesus explains the call of being a disciple. See, he he not only took the time of teaching them, but he was explaining to them what they were going to have to do. And so in verse 25, he says, if you want to save your life, you're going to lose it. But if you lose your life for me, you'll find it. Again, that had to be kind of a strange thought. But really what Jesus was telling them is that you can't be about trying to do everything that will please you because if you do, you will be lost because your focus is not on the right things. But if you lose your life, if you take your focus off of 
what pleases you, what's good for you, what, what's beneficial to you. If you make yourself of no account, but make me of all importance, then you will truly find what this life is. And it says, but what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world and forfeit their soul? So he's further explaining, it's not going to do you any good if you gain all of the things that the world say important, but then you lose your soul. And so Jesus explained this call. And so that means you and I, we're going to have this Jesus mindset. First of all, we have to understand what this calling means because we can't explain it to somebody else if we don't get it ourselves. We can't explain to someone else that Jesus is calling for a sacrificial life if we're not willing to sacrifice our own lives. And so we have to understand it first. And then when we have that Jesus mindset and understand what this means, then he wants us to go and explain it to somebody else. The third point I want to bring out is the disciples were important to Jesus. See, Jesus was taking this time to tell them what the important things were because he did not want them to be lost. He did not want them to miss receiving what God had for them. And verse 27 says, for the son of man is going to come in his father's glory with his angels. And then he will reward each person according to what they have done. So in other words, Jesus is telling them, I want you to hear and receive this because I don't want you to miss out on the blessings that my father have for those that heed what I'm telling them. And so it's the same thing for you and I. We have to make sure that people that are around us are important. Why are they important? Because first they were important to Jesus. So this Jesus mindset calls us to first be looking, you know, uh, actively looking to disciple someone, to walk with someone, to teach someone. Again, going back to last week, not teaching my theology, my own personal theology and philosophy, not my own beliefs, but teaching them what the word says. And then we explain to them what this calling of being a disciple really is. We teach them on how to walk for Christ how to live for Christ, that it's calling for a sacrificial life. It's calling for you to not try to be in the world and in Christ because you cannot serve two masters. So we have to be willing to teach them, but we have to first get it ourselves. And then we have to do this with a love. Remember going back to week one, that it, how Jesus was moved with compassion on the multitude. We cannot show and do these things if people aren't important to us, if we're not moved with compassion for their needs. So we have to be moved with compassion for what the needs of the people are so that then we can do the things that God would have us to do. So it is important that we continue to, to see these things so that we will know how to have a Jesus mindset. And so really, I want to challenge you this week. Again, remember, our theme again is a changed mind is a changed life. And no better way can we be what we are supposed to be than to look at how Jesus walked. Because we're talking about being disciples of Jesus. We want to be Christ-like. We're Christians, which means to be Christ-like. So we have to do the things that Christ would be doing, the things that Christ did. And he was concerned about his disciples. He is concerned about you and I. He's concerned that we live according to God's um will. And so even in this scripture, when it says we have to pick up, deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow me. In other words, we have to be willing to sacrifice, put on the cross, this, our fleshly desires. We may not physically be on the cross, but we have to, in a sense, deny ourselves daily, crucify the self, the selfishness, the stuff that is all about me so that we can follow Christ. And so the question really is, are we willing to do that? And then are we willing to have the mindset to teach others? This is a good lesson. So let's challenge ourselves. Are we willing to, to disciple somebody for Jesus Christ? Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father. Help us to have this Jesus mindset so that we will do and be all that you've called us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.